Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a get ready with me for a date night. So I have a few ideas in mind, but other than that, I don't know what we're doing. So let's jump straight into the video. I did my brows off camera because I feel like that's kind of boring to watch, but let me know in the comments below if you do want to see me do my brows. So boring. So now let's move on to the eyes. So I'm starting with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have the shade NC20. So I'm just going to go ahead and conceal my lid. I really like this for an eye primer now because it is so thick. So it's really going to cover all of these veins on the eyelid. And of course, setting that concealer in place with a powder. You guys know the drill. I've literally done this a thousand times. Now going in with the Smashbox Photo Matte Eyes Palette. It looks like this. The colors are so buttery when I swatch them, so I'm really excited to see how they go. The first color that I'm going to take is this Cool Tone Brown right here, and this is just going to go in the crease. I haven't done a cool shadow look in the longest time, so let's see how this look so just popping this in my crease as a transition i'm just gonna blow it up a little bit this brush is honestly incredible for blending products in the crease it is the 228 lux crease by zoe that you guys need to get it and also this top is amazing i need to show you guys right now it is a top from and co i'm going to be showing you guys some more outfits at the end um with more and co Clothes, but I just had to quickly show you guys the top because I have never been so obsessed with the top in my life. I love this little like droopy bit right here. Oh, it's just so dressy. I'm actually really impressed with these eyeshadows. They're blending just as well as my favorites, which is the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So that's always a good start. Now going in with this nice chocolate brown here. This is going directly in the crease and also on the outer corner. So I'm just going to take this on a smaller blending brush. Oh my god. These shadows are freaking amazing. I'm just going to pat this on the outer corner. So it's nice and pigmented. And then blend that upwards and into my crease. Going back in with my blending brush, as you can see right here, there's a bit of a sharp line. So I'm just going to... Lightly take my brush around the edges and buff it out. Now I'm going to take the Violet Voss Glitter Glue and I'm actually going to lay an eyeshadow over the top of this, but I really want the eyeshadow to be like really pigmented. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint this on the inner half of my eyelid. Probably should go in with the brush, but I can't be both. And then taking this Moon Dust palette from Urban Decay. I'm going to take this shade right here and put that all over the lid. Oh my god, that just made it so pigmented. I'm done. Now going in with the black from this same Smashbox palette. I'm just going to pat this on the outer corner, but very, very lightly. I just want a tiny bit more darkness there. I'm just going to fade it over the glitter. And again, just giving this a quick blend around the edges. Now I'm going in with this Nude by Nature Airbrush Mineral Primer. I'm just going to put a few squirts on my face and then blend it in with this synthetic brush. What's it smell like? Ooh, not a fan of Nude by Nature smell. I really need to like move this camera angle up because it looks like I have no hair. Now going in with the Dior Air Flash foundation. I haven't used this in so long. I'm just gonna spray it directly on my brush because it gets a bit messy. <sighs> okay. <gasps> that was so cold. Oh my God. This foundation has a really nice like natural but full coverage finish. If that's how you describe it. It's not like cakey at all. It just sits so nice on the skin. Now I'm taking the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline and I'm just going to use this to conceal under my eyes. This is nearly empty. Oh my god, I think it is empty. This is so sad. Mm. I'm just going to blend this in with a beauty blender. I got a brand new one, which I'm so happy about. Now going in with the Makeup Studio Translucent Powder in Extra fine. I'm going to use this to bake. 
Oh god, it's going everywhere. Using that same beauty blender, I'm just gonna pack this under my eyes. Oh my god, it smells exactly like baby powder and I'm inhaling it and it's not fun. Now taking my Hello Flawless powder by Benefit in the shade Honey. I use the same powders all the time, so if you guys know of any good ones, please let me know in the comments. But I like this one because it adds a bit of extra coverage. Now going in with that same dark crease color, this is going on the lower lash line. So I'm taking this from, oh my god, I need to wash this bake off. Like, what do you mean? Someone just turned their base on and I can hear it like it's in my lounge room. I'm about to go bang on the balls, like literally. Now going in with that same lid color, I'm going to put this on my lower lash line, focusing it in the middle. Now this will be the test if it's actually as pigmented as that, like without the glitter, I, um, without the glitter glue, but I doubt it. It's actually really nice though because I don't want it too opaque. It's just like a nice dusty glitter look. Mm. Now I'm just going to take some glitter glue again. This stuff comes in handy all the time. I'm just going to pop this on my inner corner because I want a really intense inner corner highlight since this is very dark. I just had a testy. Did you hear that? It's a little double here. And then I'm going to take my Artist Couture highlighter in the shade Coco Bling. I'm just going to use whatever's in the lid. Oh my god, it's going everywhere. Stop it. Oh my god, stunning. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to go in with this matte white shade and this is going to be my highlight shade. So just putting this, putting this under my eyebrow. Probably need a smaller brush. Let's be real. We already have a nice highlight going on under the eyebrow anyway from the concealer. So it's not that crucial to do this step, I feel. And then for mascara, I'm taking the... Do I even need to say it? I use this in like every video. So Urban Decay... Oh my god, did I just say that? The L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And of course, not forgetting my lower lashes. I just put on some of these lashes. I think the brand's called Bespoke, but this is what they look like. For bronzer today, I'm going in with the Hula Benefit. This is my all-time favorite. I'm just going to take that on a little angled brush and put this under my cheekbones. Then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to take this down my nose. Now to bronze up my skin, I'm taking the MAC Give Me Sun. I haven't used this one in so long. It's probably been two videos, I don't know, but I love this stuff so much just for a nice glow. So I'm just putting this under my cheekbones and also around my forehead as well. Now for my blush, I'm taking the Urban Decay Afterglow Blush in the shade Video. I've had this for so long, but I don't think I've actually ever used it. It's just one of those shades that matches any makeup look. So I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it back. Next step is highlighter. I'm taking this Laura Mercier highlighter in the shade Indiscretion. I haven't used this in so long and look how pretty it is. So I just sprayed my brush with MAC Fix Plus. Now I'm just going to put this on my cheeks. Now for the lips, I'm taking the Chi Chi Lip Liner in the shade Centerfold. Oh my god, I feel like I have this and I just bought it the other day. <laughs> Damn it. And to finish off the lips, I'm going in with this gloss from Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the shade It's So Cute. It's my favorite product from her line. It's like a really nice light nude. I'm just going to pop this on. It's so opaque, so you honestly like don't need anything under it, which is amazing. 